All right, niggas. I'm about to fix my fucking room and shit. I wanted to make a video about this problem I've noticed in civilization nowadays, which is that everyone's trying to be motivational. They're all trying to be inspirational for no fucking reason. We get it. The late 90s, the zeros, that era is over. Being emo, being postmodern, snarky, uh, demoralized, that's not cool anymore. It's not. People would rather be fucking passionate about something again. They'd rather be revitalized. Unfortunately, we live in a system where you could be inspired. There are people that will try to inspire you to become something better, to become empowered. Oh, a lot of people would say it. The pickup artists are really good at this. Uh, I think mean, game is really good to know nowadays since relationships are now about love more than anything else and you really do know how you really do need to know how to become charismatic and things of this nature so into the seven step programs into all of this shit and everyone's gonna run into this you live long enough you will run into somebody that's trying to inspire you to throw your money out the fucking window. That's just how shit works. And to have that will to power again, some people say, well, money is, isn't good enough to keep if you can't get that. That is true, but keep in mind, obtaining and regaining all that drive, all that motivation, isn't worth, it can never be worth, lacking the direction and just jumping out the fucking window and throwing your life away. There needs to be a balance, there needs to be somewhat of a duality. And some people might call that slave morality, but those people are fucking douchebags. That's just, that's just how it works. Your life has a purpose. You exist for a reason. I don't give a fuck what these freshman philosophy majors want to tell you. Your life has fucking purpose. I want you to fucking know that. If you don't agree with me, well, my catchphrase at the end of the video. That, that's just how it is. So, these, these guys are going to try to fucking scam you, these motivational guys. Because they know that, just like every other advertisement, it's funny, every advertisement commercial is the fucking same. You see a very depressed guy in the beginning with no will to power, no will to live, and then Gatorade comes out and everyone's happy again. Doritos comes out and everyone wants to live again. I mean, this shit, this shit is better than sex. No, this shit is sex. Of course, nowadays, tons of things are better them busting a nut, but that's made into the standard because the divine or things of that nature, that's obsolete now. You're not supposed to care about those kinds of higher values and things like that. Oh no, it, it's it's all about busting that nut. And these guys are going to try to motivate you with those kind of standards. Skills are going to help you get laid or... Not even a pickup artist, a bunch of other guys.
bunch of other scam artists. And what they usually want is your credit card info, your fucking... They want to drain as much money off of you. It's even less than OEP. It's less than what was me. It's fucking... Because at least with usury, there is some power now. In this era, in terms of specificity, where that bourgeoisie pettiness does come into play and power, but this this is the lowliest of the low. This is some this is some peasant shit that they're trying to do. Peasants and imitating what was once greatness. <sighs> Fucking itchy as hell. I don't even know why. <sighs> Maybe I should fucking hold, put this shit down here, even though that has some risks of falling. If I touch it wrong, then just it, it shatter on the fucking bathtub. But I don't really fucking care. So that's one thing I know, is everyone's trying to be fucking inspirational, and everyone's trying to be charismatic. Or what they think charisma is, it's usually just... Or what they think being sexy is, but it's, it's usually none of that shit. A lot of guys don't fucking get it. But it fucking works enough for them to form their own cult of personality. As to get rich. Or die trying. I don't know, that 50 cent mentality really does piss me off, but... I never really cared for 50 cent, too, because I didn't listen to music back then. I didn't really care for it. So it doesn't bother me as much. Alright, some, something else to talk about. Now, if you guys do want to get motivated, you don't want to get scammed, you don't want to get manipulated, you really are going to have to search for higher values, higher powers, things like that. Grog would usually say, fuck you, go back to church, but that's just a starter. Because really, you go to the Protestant churches, you're going to deal with people that say that not voting for Obama or not accepting welfare, that's satanic. So you're, you're going to have to be careful even then. And some of the people that say, fuck you, go back to church, don't even go to church themselves. So. What I suggest, what I recommend is do that, but also wise up. Learn about the scams, learn about the tricks, because when you find a person that doesn't do all those tricks, and they truly are promising you some higher fucking values, some something that will revitalize your will to power and your will to live, both are important. It's not just a bunch of ones and zeros. You either have the will to power, will to live, or you're just a disgrace who's better off dead. No, it, there, everyone has a little mix of everything. Keep in mind, a master's just somebody's slave that's taking some of the peasantry and babysitting them for a while. I mean, you don't know the master of all masters, from, in person at least. <sighs> Alright, that's enough shitty philosophy for now. This is Mr. Wonka7, and as promised, suck my... What is in this thing, anyway?
It's liquid sugar. Fuck. Dick. Suck my dick. <laughs>